Hello everybody, it's been quite a while since I've made a video, a few days actually, feels like longer than that, but I'll tell you the reason why, is because this last week has been so busy, now the general election has been called and I've been flat out working for the Heritage Party with our candidates trying to get as many people as possible uh, through the nominations process which closes um, next Friday at 4pm, Friday the 7th of June, so there's a lot of work to do there but it's really fantastic because everybody is rising to the challenge even though there's such a short amount of time and we're going to have several dozen candidates standing in uh, seats around the country in England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland if all goes to plan so um, that is uh, what I've been doing and why I haven't been so active on social media um, this week although you know I've been trying to do as much as I possibly can but things have been so busy. Um, I'm here in Bognor Regis. Look at the beautiful sea behind me here. It's lovely, absolutely lovely down here um, because this is where I'm going to be standing as a candidate. It's my hometown and I was born here. I was born in Rustington. I grew up in Barnum. Um, and uh, I'm going to be standing in the constituency of Bognor Regis and Littlehampton. So uh, we kicked off our campaign today, uh, had a fantastic action day um, around Bognor Regis. So um, that's, that's really wonderful. Uh, a lot of people came down to help from the Heritage Party. So thank you everybody who's come to help me here. Thank you to everybody who's donated um, to our campaign so far and has supported me and our candidates around the country. Um, I appreciate everything. Uh, so much and uh, all the help you've given all the positive comments and encouragement you've given to me and our candidates as we uh, try to get this together in a very short amount of time and of course the general election is not that long away we've uh, long, and we've it's going to be on the 4th of July of course so we've only got five weeks to go until the general election but I hope that wherever we can we can stand in front of three or four or five million people on the ballot paper and give people a choice to vote for common sense and to put out the uniparty Tory Labour Lib Dem Green that are ruining our nation with all of the policies that they all agree on climate alarmism net zero mass immigration relationships and sexuality education for children more hate speech laws uh, escalating war with Ukraine all of those things are wrong and they're destructive and we need an alternative the Heritage Party is the alternative and we will return to traditional family values we will end escalating war um, around the world and disentangle from foreign conflicts. We will um, stop the era of mass immigration, push the illegal boats back to France, have strict caps on um, work visas and student visas in the future and train up enough of our own young people to do the jobs that need to be done in this country and some more support small businesses and medium-sized businesses rather than the massive globalist corporations and doing what they want uh, at the behest of the World Economic Forum and so on. You know all about that if you follow me and the Heritage Party I'm sure. So that's what we want, a positive change for Britain. That sounds a bit trite, doesn't it? But within that, there are all our pol policies that you can see uh, on our leaflets that are coming through your doors around the country at the moment and uh, on our manifesto on our website, heritageparty.org. So thank you so much for all your support. And uh, I'm, I really thank uh, the people who have given uh, me and uh, my team a very warm welcome in Bognor Regis today. And uh, we'll be in Rustington, hopefully, uh, later on in the week in Littlehampton, Yapton, uh, Middleton and uh, Feltham uh, all over the constituency campaigning so I'm very much looking forward to doing that and I'm very much looking forward to the elections and uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what happens with other Heritage Party candidates around the country as well over the next few weeks so there we go that's just a little update as to what I'm doing and uh, and where I am but I will be more active definitely when we've got all our candidates through the nomination um, uh, deadline and procedure and uh, then we'll be free to campaign a lot more. So thanks for keeping up with me. Uh, keep tuned and uh, there'll be more from me very soon in the future. Thanks everyone. Bye.